All right, check it out, guys. All right, we have the Vive Pro from HTC. This is the official unboxing. Now, I've had the original Vive headset for a very long, probably since day one, and I freaking love it. I still use it to this day. So anyways, I'm really excited to open this baby up. Let's see what's inside. I'm gonna do a quick comparison from the headset, this one, compared to the old one, and then I'm just gonna start playing it and then do a review maybe in a week or so. So but right now, let's open this baby up. I know I said I was gonna start using a box knife, but man, I just can't get, I can't get away from this little tiny thing. All right, it looks like there's only one cut mark here. So let's make that cut. You know, this thing was sold out on day one. Uh, I went on the HTC website, sold out. Went on Best Buy, sold out. Amazon, sold out. And the only place that had this was Micro Center. Good old handy Micro Center, gotta love that place. Anyways, got, I went there early in the morning and I picked it up. This is label number three. You know, one of the reasons why I got this, and there's a lot of uh, talk right now about this being extremely, it's number four by the way, extremely overpriced, and I get that because paying $800 for a headset and still, and if you don't own the original Vive, you still need to buy the base links and also the track controllers. And uh, yes, I get it. I mean, it's, it's extremely pricey, and uh, but the point is, will it give you what you want? Will it give you that experience of that next level, the next gen? Um, of gameplay. Some reviews are saying that there's not a dramatic increase in visual quality like it's supposed to be. Um, and I wanna give you my unbiased review when I do the review here in a couple weeks about is it worth the upgrade? Okay, so we have three and four. Where's one and two? What's interesting to me is that there's only uh, three and four in here and it looks like these are just the steps. Okay, so it gives you instructions as well as box three and four. Now, the reason why it says the three and four is because number one is actually labeled here and that's follow guideline instructions online. And of course, number two shows in the back, um, make sure you have the correct uh, software installed and your graphics card drivers up to date. And then of course, you go to three, which we're about to open right now. Now I am running a uh, GTX 1080s. I have two GTX 1080s right now, um, but I did hear that you at least need a 1060. Uh, they recommend a 1070 to play uh, with the new Vi Pro. But definitely look into that before buying one of these, especially when you got to put down $800. All right, it looks like you have your ports, your imports. Uh, this looks very similar to the old one. So this is the new one. The, this is the old one. So so it looks like you don't, for the front end that connects to the headset, you only have the HDMI, which is one cable. And the old one, you have to have the HDMI, the USB, and the power, which is three cables. Let's see what else is packed in here. Display port to mini display port. And then you have the USB 3.0 cables. I actually have an extension to this that I'll probably be using instead. You also get a cloth to make sure your lenses are nice and clean. I'm not sure what this is. Looks like these are for your earphones. Uh, they're they're cap-ins. So, okay. So that was box number three. Let's go to box number four, which I'm sure holds the glorified headset. All right, as soon as you open it up, this is what you're presenting with. All right, let's take it out of the box. All right, there we go. You know, just by weight alone, I can tell you that this is a lot lighter than the old version. I mean, this, you know, this reminds me of actually the, the PlayStation VR. Look at that, it has a rotation to it. All right, let's take this one. So let's do a quick comparison. 
with the old one. So off the bat, you can see. It looks like the top still has a strap on, uh, so that way it keeps it tight. That's what he said, right? The side straps are now gone. And I am so happy to, to see that they have the headphones on the side. So there you have it. Um, I, I am super excited to get this thing going and seeing how this looks compared to my old Vive as well. And seeing if this is truly a nice next gen uh, purchase uh, for an upgrade or should you just wait for any upcoming VR headsets that, that come our way. I am a big fan of HTC Vive. I've used other formats before other headsets and I just, I just love this one. It gives me the best uh, overall immersion experience with the least interruptions anyways. And um, I'm just really excited to get this thing going. If you have any questions at all about this headset so far, leave them below. I'll do my best to answer them. But I will be doing a more in-depth review on this baby and uh, just really just putting it up to the test and giving you my honest review. Is like, is this thing worth it? Is this thing worth, you know, if, if, if you love gaming, if you love the VR uh, world and the, the experience that it gives you, um, knowing that uh, it's still in its infancy. Uh, should you invest your hard-earned dollars on this? Um, I don't know the answer to that right now because I mean, if you if you're talking about the HTC Vive, yes, because I freaking love that thing. But with this, it's just more big, big of a price tag. Is it worth it? Um, so I'm I'm excited to find out. So besides that, my friends, uh, leave a thumbs up if you liked the video. Don't forget to leave any comments that you have about this. And of course, please subscribe if you haven't yet, my friends. And besides that. I will catch you guys in the next video.